Hi. I don't have a fancy introduction. I don't know how to put one. It's a very sensitive subject and it's going to ruffle feathers and I know it. But it's something that needs to be said and it needs to be put out there. What really is the problem with the city? There's a lot of things. And it ends with what we see and what we see is a homelessness problem and use needs. That's what we see. And yes, we want to help and we want to fix it. But to fix that problem, we have to actually fix the reason for that problem. And that's why I'm just saying that the information you're getting from all the posts from the Humanity Project is misleading. Yes, that's a problem, okay? Homelessness and all that, one, it is. And it's sad and it breaks my heart. But Charlie can't fix this on his own. And his rhetoric of getting mad at other people and whatever, we're gonna set that aside and we're just gonna talk about the issue. And it's extremely complicated. To fix the big issue, you have to fix the reason for it. And there are many reasons that homelessness and drug addiction happens to be a problem. So there's more than one, and all together, they make that big problem. So, because there are a lot of them, and they're not something that is maybe easy for people to understand, I am going to put this out as a series. It's going to be a series where I am going to keep things down to 10 to 15 minutes, no more, because I don't want to get lost. I have a tendency to go off subject, so stick to one subject. And again, each video that I'm going to put out is going to be about one thing at a time, one issue, one problem, one thing. And I really hope that you all stick around and be patient to the end where you can all understand that each of those little tiny things, when you add them all up together, gives us one big problem. And I'm saying this for two reasons. One, I'm one of you. I am one of the people that is just as much struggling as everybody else. And I know you see all these things, you think, you know, whatever. Think what you want. I don't care. If you have any questions, you can ask. Most of the things in my house were given to me, you know, by family members that either passed away and I inherited it, or they didn't need it anymore. Not many things in my house are brand new. Buy everything secondhand. This TV behind me doesn't work sometimes. Every once in a while it will work. I got it for free. For Pete. Paid for it. Somebody gave it to me. But that's not my point. I'm simply putting that in there because yes, there's people out there that they don't like me. Oh well. I don't care. And I'm not doing this for money or fame at all. I don't want to be famous, which is weird because I'm on a platform where the world can see me, but I don't care. Like publicly or whatnot, I don't, no, that's not my thing. I don't care. But I do want to put out the information. Again, I'm lucky that I had my mom to help me through everything because my mom's job was to file appeals against government decisions and I was lucky enough to have her through my journey in life and the things that I found were frustrating and we will get to there. As well, again, I'm one of you. 
I am just as affected as anybody else out there when it comes to affordable housing. And that is the biggest thing that drives me bananas. And that's why I say some of the information may be misleading. Yes, I've done the research. Not only have I contacted and have documents and research from legit places that I will show later, I've talked to people. Yes, I'm afraid to leave my house. But I do have help. I have friends that go with me so I can talk to people. And some of the people that I talk to are landlords. People who own buildings in the city. And guess what? Moncton happens to be one of the cheapest places for rent in Atlantic Canada. I know. That's not the message that everybody else is getting. But there is a problem where people can't get into housing. And that, again, is another issue that I have to address to all of you in one part at a time. Because there is more than one factor that makes that for someone who is on disability or social assistance or, you know, trying to get back on their feet, whatever the case may be, makes it very difficult for them to actually get a place to live that they can afford. There are many reasons. And again, you have to address them one at a time. And that's why I think I'm taking this on to give the information that I found to out there, all of you, so that you can at least know what's going on. Because right now, for the most part, what people know is the stuff that Charlie puts out there. And he's not, you know, a bad person. He has a point. Homelessness is horrible. I am going to have pictures and graphs to show, because sometimes when you see it, it makes more sense than just somebody telling you a bunch of numbers. And my graphs and my information aren't something that I made up. They come from a very legit place. And that place, that's their job. All they do every single year are the statistics for people on welfare. And by welfare, they mean people on social assistance, people on disability, people that rely on GST checks to help pay the bills, people that rely on, you know, baby bonuses to help pay the bills. Because in reality, those things should not be something that people depend on to pay the bills. But unfortunately, here, it is, and in all of Canada, actually, it is something we depend on. So yes, the problem is bigger than what you hear. But those things will be one at a time. So thank you very much, and I hope that you do stick around for the entire series until the end. And from that information, you will have it, and then you can make your own decision about whatever your opinion may be. I am going to try my best to not put my opinion or anything in there. I'm not perfect, but I'm going to try my best to just give you the facts, just the information, and then you can decide to do what you want with it from there. Again, I will be trying my best to stick to one point at a time, about 10 to 15 minutes per issue, per problem, and I hope that it gets out there that we get the real information. I do warn you though, some of them are harsh truths. We can't force people to accept things they don't want to accept. Which goes back to, yes, Charlie sometimes posts pictures of a homeless person. I get it, it's awareness, but that's not helping the homeless person. And some people just can't deal. People are aware. It's not hiding. Everybody knows that there's a problem. Because the homelessness problem is not 
something that happens only in Mangti. It's a worldwide thing. However, there's all sorts of other things going on in this world, and some people are struggling with their own stuff, and it's because they do care that they are not looking at them properly. 